Logan. Um, another lockdown video. I'm trying to find things to do. And uh, I've come up with, with quite a, a decent one today. I had a practice at making one yesterday. I'm going to make a Swedish log torch. And I'm going to show you the process, the method that uh, I used yesterday. It's like I'm going to change a few things because I learned a little bit by, by doing my first one yesterday. Just watching me, my foot in here. Um, yeah, so and then and then hopefully, presuming it works, we're going to cook some some tea on it. I'm going to cook uh, a little meal. Um, most of it's going to be done from my backyard. Um, sadly, I don't have like a, a real like camping area or bushcraft area available to me. So, um, but the process is going to be the same. You know, I'm still going to cook outdoors. I'm still going to make it as though uh, I'm going to make it to my own uh, little speck that that. Uh, I hope succeeds. It, it did quite well yesterday. Um, I, I, I've improved a few things for today's design, which I'll talk about in there. Um, I'm well aware there are hundreds of different methods of making Swedish uh, log candles or Canadian candles, Finnish log torches. There's, you know, there's hundreds of there's hundreds of names for them. Um, and now, uh, you later, let's, let's hope it works. Let's uh, let's hope I, I succeed. Um, so I'm quite, I mean, I'm quite excited. It, it was quite fun making one yesterday, and it worked quite well. So it's uh, that's all good. So let's get into the garage, and uh, we'll, we'll make a start. So here we are in the garage. Um, not exactly your typical bushcraft area. Fully appreciate that, but um, it's the space I've got. Um, so let's uh, let's see what we can do. So I'll just show you what we've got to work with. Um, first of all, we've got a very basic little saw. Now we've got some steel wire. We've got a very special uh, knife that my brother made for me. We've obviously got the log that we uh, pre-split, and we're gonna we're just gonna do a little bit of work on that. We've got the produce that we're gonna try and cook in a bit. Presuming everything works, we've got some of these little. Uh, pre-twined uh, wood wool fire lighters um, they they seem quite reasonable and then uh, I've just got a stack of old rav wheels here that if I do need to uh, smack any uh, smack any wood onto to split it they're solid because I don't have an actual actual uh, workbench in here because I've had a car in here most of winter so um, just had to make do but that's what you'd have to do when you're outdoors so I'll just show you this this knife that my brother made for me. Look at that. What a craftsman. Bless him. So but I, I split I uh, I took took the edges off of the logs with this yesterday so it should be uh I know I know I know it does the job so that's good. So I put some little markings on each corner of the log. Little mark to just, just so I could marry them up again properly. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the log around three quarters of the way down, about there. Um, I'm just going to get my gloves on because if the saw bounces out or whatever, we don't want to smash the end to bits, do we? So, as I say, very primitive saw. But it's quite sharp, it's actually quite good. Um, that'll do. I'm going to do that to each log. I can't believe I had that saw back five year I've used it for various tasks when I can't be bothered to get a big saw out and the day I put it on a recording the bleeding thing breaks so I you know I've got through rest at logs um I had to get a big saw out which I kind of didn't want to do because them little fold out ones are quite bushcrafty aren't they but you've got to do what you've got to do so anyway no worries on with on with next stage so we've got the four cuts in the logs now 
Um, all roughly in the same place, which is what I was hoping for. So just get my gloves back on for this bit. The next stage we want is uh, a big knife for. And all we want to do is we just want to chop down there. So I've got my gloves on just to make it as safe as I can. Uh, So a bit tougher than I wanted, but there we go. That's that's what I was aiming for on each piece. I've just spun the camera around a little so you can see it. Uh, you can see what I'm, I'm actually doing a little better. Um, but I'll show you one. I'll do another one. Then we'll do it last two in time lapse. There we go. That's exactly. That's perfect. So what we'll do is we'll just collect all this sawdust and these shavings up because they'll be they'll be helpful for actually setting the candle to burn. Just get off that one there. But that'll help. That'll certainly help us. And then if we put this back together, what we should have, if I've done it right. to star oh my god should end up with a little structure like that that's what we're looking for and we've got by and large a bit of cradle bar I made a little mistake and actually accidentally knocked the bottom off of one of them but but by and large we've got a little cradle in the bottom and we'll pack that out so looking quite good so far it's going quite well so I've just un unraveled a bit of this steel wire and uh, we're just going to put that off there and we're going to make a little loop that should help us tighten it up in a bit if we uh, if we don't get it tight enough we're just going to put it around top to start with on some of them you do just you can just put it around the bottom I've not quite cut enough steel wire there which is a bit of a shame but Still, let's, uh, we'll just cut a little bit more and put a little bit of an extension in. If we just marry these two up, it should be quite easy with, with this wire to marry them up. There we go. Put that round through that little loop that we've created back on itself. And then just tie around that round right there. And that's, that's going to help support the candle, that's going to help keep the the candle together as you can see I can and hold it in one hand now and don't fall apart but just to make sure I'm going to put another layer of the wire around the bottom oh my god it's gone like a bleeding slinky this it's, it's unraveled it's and I can get that back together all that easy back together no problem easy and we're just going to do the same make a little loop that round, round once, round twice, far too much this time, <laughs> but that should be okay, get that through, get that wrap round as loop, and then we just cut this excess off because we don't want any pork in iron or like that, and there we go, that should be should be good to go. Looks bob on that to me. Super. So there's a this, there's this candle on the burning mat. And we're, let's get it stoked. And here's one of those uh, wool, wood wool fire lighters. Just using a normal lighter to light it with. Not very successfully though. There's one of those wood wall fire lighters. Oh, 
just split one of these up a little bit. Make it so there's a little bit of air in there. So we're just going to use the uh, gardening knife to that'll get the bagging going. Don't need that anymore. Push that down into us into his candle. And there we go. We're lit. And then I mean these 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 uh, these fire lighters, these, these wood fire lighters, they make it so easy. They do just go up for fun. Um, just get that sawdust in, pat that down. Get that in there. Just gonna nip down at butchery department, get ourselves a ribeye steak. So I've just got a beef ribeye here. Need a few steaks for a customer. And then I'm gonna cut myself one. Quite a lean one this. Okay then bad boys. Oh. And nice and for me. Get that. Oh. Right, so we've got a steak from uh, my place of work. Shout out John Crawshaws. Thank you very much. There we go. That beggar's ready. And what we're going to do first is chop a shallot up. That shallot. Shout out Grace's Farm Shop for this. I was going to buy three, but this, this is that big, it's like three in one. And if we just take it down to one. And if we cut through there. That's wonderful. No, my hands don't look clean, but I've, I've sanitised. And we're just going to do quite a rough chop of this. Got me, uh, me gerber. Survival knife, well, my little pocket knife, even, but it's what I take camping with me. They can go straight in pot. Got some uh, sugar snap peas, shout out uh, Stocksbridge Corp and uh, Beth's crew. Got some of them in there. And then some mixed exotic mushrooms, shout out Penniston Fruit and Veg. Oh, look at that, baby. Oh. Straight in. Get all that in. I was told just to score this, but I don't want it quite that big. Oh, look at that beggar. Get that in. Right, we'll go and get to uh, get that on us uh, on us uh, log. Need a little bit more oil in there, I think. But it's cooking quite well. Some quite good heat there. So that's that's done pretty well in there now. So we'll just get that off. I've just salted my steak. We'll get that on. Shouldn't take very long at all. Well, and then mushrooms and stuff smell absolutely lovely. I put a little bit of garlic and butter in just to end, so look at that mega. Oh. Looks like it should be done now. Oh, lovely. 
and just as the torch is about to collapse as well. So look at that. Oh. A little pot of mushrooms and stuff. That's still steaming away. I'm just going to put this in here. Let it rest a bit longer. So I've put the old meal in one of my seed summit bowls. Just gonna get on with eating it now. That steak is fabulous. Mm. Mm. So good. So I'd say overall that that's a success. I probably started cooking on the candle probably a tad late it got a little bit wobbly at the end um, probably for future could if we're gonna cook on one probably could do a slightly bigger log maybe make a bigger more solid base so it, it generates the same heat but it don't go through as quick um, but I mean the, can the candle burnt really well again it's probably it's actually because it stays again it actually burnt a lot quicker than than yesterday's candle and it generated a lot more heat. Um just got a little bit of juice out of my pack as well. Which is nice so I hope you've enjoyed watching. Um I know it's not been the best of outdoors videos but best I could do given the circumstances. Um thanks to everyone who watched and liked me my last one the show is your brew. I uh, just want to say thanks to Joe Outdoors for the overall nomination for people who weren't individually nominated. Um, her video was the, were the one that gave me the, the, the final kick to do that one. and It's it's gone really well. I mean, 400-ish views. It's by far my most successful video up to just shy 100 subscribers. So if we can get a couple more, that'll be topping. If we can get up to 100, I'd, be, I'd love that. So I'm just going to sit and eat my tea now. So thanks for watching. And uh, next time I'm going to... I'm going to try a few variations on the Swedish uh, log candle or whatever you want to call them, Canadian candles or whatever you prefer the name to be. I'm going to try one with smaller uh, branches so it burns a bit quicker. I'm going to try one where you drill through um, and I'm going to try the one where you chainsaw down. But that'll not be for a while yet. I've got a, I've got a, I want to do a gear review soon because I've been discussing uh, my backpack with a few people online and uh, there doesn't seem to be any lightwave backpack reviews on there, so I think I'll do one of those. So thanks for watching. I'm just going to eat this before it goes cold, so take care. See you soon. Oh no, it's fallen over. <laughs> Thank you for a lovely meal. You served me well.